What up, guys? It's your boy Mikey Will here. I'm showing you guys how to install the Rec Pro folding bed in my 2006 Ford E350. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It helps more than you guys know. This would be a big addition to the van, especially because it folds up, saving some space because we ride dirt bikes, we ride a bunch of stuff, and it quads, everything. So don't, don't mind my stupid little hair bonnet because I was I forgot I had that thing on. But yeah, just bust the box open a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. But I'll explain it more as time goes on. Thank you guys for watching. Legs, obviously. Uh, uh, this is hard, kind of hard to explain. But I did make my own little brackets. Because the van is on an angle. And I don't know if you guys can see that one back there. I don't even see that one back there. And this is obviously the bed frame. Uh, only thing is now I probably gotta build some type of support for this because this does jiggle quite a bit. If it was on the ground, I don't think it would. But yeah, we're doing pretty big right now. Uh, let's just keep on going. It's kind of hard to record because it's like so hot in here. It's like I'm like dying at the same time. But hold up. Right. So these aren't bolted in, obviously. Now it's just on a slant because these aren't down. And this is still like a bunch of things to do. Uh, but we are looking pretty solid. I can't, I can't hate. I just gotta screw in these to this so I can fold up properly. And I gotta put the legs on the front so it's not just aimlessly hanging. But, This is the Rec Pro folding bed, not the bunk bed, because it can't fit a bunk bed in here, but this is what it looks like, or kind of looks like, attached to the van. It's pretty good. Definitely still got to uh, make some type of extension block for this and find some way to mount maybe like one of these back pieces to here. I don't know. I probably got to make something else out of some metal. <laughs> You know, so we're gonna find out. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Everything really counts, you know what I mean? Got more van content, more Suron content. Got a lot of stuff coming soon. Got another video that we we completely rebranded the whole. Yeah, we rebranded the whole thing. So just be on the lookout for that too. But yeah, a lot of tools, a lot of time. It's about like five o'clock right now. I don't even know if this thing can focus, but yeah, it's about 5 o'clock right now. Peace, y'all. See y'all soon. Yeah, so we're just gonna start cutting. This is like my little template. I don't even know what size this is, but it's perfect size for this. So, let's get to it. Alright, so 
through. This is what happened, gang. Uh, I actually just taped up one of the pieces of wood because, like, I needed maybe like a centimeter or maybe like, not even a centimeter, maybe like two millimeters of space. And that tape was all I needed to <laughs> gain that that height clearance. So all I gotta do is just bolt down to the floor and I'm gonna get this thing looking a little cleaner. Get some long enough wood screws to go through all four of those combined plus into the plastic. I just don't have those long enough screws right now. If I gotta run to Home Depot, but it's getting late, so I will definitely do that soon. But now we got. Two mint and still a little shake check. Doesn't want to. It doesn't want to like. Doesn't want to like jiggle down as much. So I'm gonna try to get some type of angled steel or angled aluminum, whatever, and try to get that up and onto one of these bars right here. Alright, so I got some aluminum angle or steel angle. Got a couple pieces, and I'm going to put them here and up here. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna make this a lot more secure because right now it can support my weight, but it definitely like horizontally it jiggles a little bit, so you need just a little bit more stability, and that's what we're hoping to get from these. Alright, so gonna mark it with a sharpie where I'm gonna drill a hole yeah, probably two holes probably one there one there these are a little too low I need them a little closer together and I'll probably put one right maybe like closer to here like a big bolt it's like one big solid bolt alright so I made my own dot that's Alright, so made some little drawings, some little dance, some little dance. We're gonna go on the other side and pack that up a little bit. Probably gonna do something down here, like down by where that little hole is. So I can't go above that, and I can't go too high. So it's like not really places to get this thing to chill at. So I'm gonna just get cutting. I'll show you guys a little bit. got dark pretty quick as you guys can see uh, but this is what I did Just pow pow you know what I'm saying straight easy money pow pow it was kind of hard to record and do all the same stuff at the same time because 
I'm like grabbing stuff and doing everything at the same time. Got a little hectic. But yeah, oh, let's grab the light real quick. Show you guys this joint. There you go. Just pop out, just cut it off a little bit. Still gotta find a way to get this piece to the ceiling or this like top rack piece, this top rack piece. Um, but yeah, we're still cooking up, boys. <coughs> but yeah, we're still cooking up. But yeah, yeah. Here, let me do a little.